Good morning. Same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In, in him was life, life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which is that everyone that comes into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came by his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God and all together. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory is of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. You may be seated. Uh, starting out our lesson connection, symbols can make powerful truths. Sometimes individual's words and actions can become so entwined with symbol that the individual represents the idea or the action as much more than the original symbol. In the 20th century, perhaps no one illustration um, this better than Adolf Hitler. The German Nazi party came into existence in 1920 and chose the Swastikas as their symbol. The swastikas had been used across across an array of religions and cultures to convey a range of ideas for thousands of years prior to 1920. The Nazis used the swastikas to represent what they saw as racial purity of the German people. It became a symbol of national and cultural pride. Soon German soldiers were used stepping past swastikas um, emblemized banners by ordinary citizens shattered their allegiance to Germany and Nazi party, party leader Adolf Hitler. To the rest of the world, however, the swastika became a symbol of hatred and a state-sponsored genocide, especially following the defeat of, Ger of Germany in World War II and the uncovering of the atrocities the Nazis wreaked on the world. Most citizens in the West reconciled at the site of, or recoiled at the site of the swastikas, and its display, and its display is banned in present day Germany. Hitler himself has come to serve as a stand in for swastikas in the evil times in Germany. Even the, the fascist dictator's name now serves as a byword of evil oppression. In the U.S., those who wish to dis Disparage political opponents sometimes do so by labeling them Hitler. This space where Hitler even transformed America's fashion. In 1930, many men, including the popular comedian Charlie Chaplin, sported what was commonly called a toothbrush mustache. Hitler also wore a special hair style. Eventually, the toothbrush mustache became so associated German leaders that most American men shave their upper lip clean. Today, many associate the toothbrush mustache with it. Symbols can play a role in Christianity. The most 
become living symbols of Jesus' power and authority. His light will shine through us in the dark world and his glory will be revealed. Good morning. Praise God. Amen. Now, the Sunday school book, the reason they didn't have to just pass them out because uh, they are they are $7. Uh, if you do want one, we would love for you to put uh, that $7 perhaps in an offering uh, now or sometime, some point in time. But if you want one, you can give me a hand and we'll bring them to you. Praise God. Thank you for your precious truths, God. Your word is powerful. Your word changes lives. And we're so thankful for it, God. God, we need the anointing that will destroy yokes. We pray, Lord, that throughout this day, that as your word goes forward, that you would send conviction and revelation and understanding, oh God. That you would help us, Lord, to become more like you. Father, I pray that you would help us to speak, oh God. Lord, from your mind, from your heart, Lord, with your expressions. And we'll give you praise in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. 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 Uh, there, there are, I'll try, I'll try to uh, get through here quickly. Um, of course, I love uh, the doctrine of uh, Jesus or the theology of Christ, uh, the Word uh, becoming flesh and dwelling among us. Uh, there's a beautiful revelation there. But there are things that I believe are important uh, to every believer. Amen. The, there are foundational truths and truths that are built upon the foundational truths. Foundational truths are Truths such as uh, the doctrine of the new birth, foundational. Uh, the doctrine of holiness and separation, uh, foundational. The doctrine of faith, amen, in God. And, of course, as we will endeavor to cover this morning, uh, the doctrine of oneness or the mighty God in Christ. Yeah. Amen. And so... Uh, without without foundational truths to which the other biblical truths are built on, the believer will have structural issues. Amen. Right. It, it it it's 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 the difference. It's the difference. Yeah. Um, between building your house on the sand. Right. Or the rock. Right. It's, right. it's a huge difference. So foundational truths are vital. They're important. They must be there to help establish the foundation. And uh, um, I've been uh, now a part of the this, uh, particular church, the, the, the United Pentecostal Church, now in about 20, over 20 years. And uh, you could say that you would assume that even the young people would have, amen, a hold of some of the foundational truths. Yeah. But, amen. That's not even so. You're right. Uh, even though they hear it, amen, 
uh, sometimes they fail to go and reaffirm what we believe and hold dear, amen, as the church of the living God. Amen. We are thankful that, amen, the Bible is not tied to the pulpit, amen, to where only the priest could read it, amen, but everybody have an opportunity to get a hold of the Word of God and to connect to the Word of God in such a way to where God can begin to reveal his truth to them. Right. Amen. To where their lives could be established on the foundation of the mighty God in Christ. Would you say amen? amen. Uh, this will leave the building uh, a block or the building of our lives very vulnerable due to the lack of strong foundation. Amen. While neither you and I have or know all there is to know of God. One thing we do know is that God established faith and or trust in him upon a sure foundation. Amen. This is one of the many strong points of the monotheistic believer. Amen. And the monotheistic believer is, is, a, is an individual mono meaning one theistic or theo God. So monotheistic believer, amen, is someone that believe in the singularity uh, that there are not a plethora yeah. uh, right. in the Godhead. There's only one God. Yeah. 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 Amen. Come on. Thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. The scripture is very clear. And therefore, amen, due to the fact that the scripture is clear explaining this. In fact, the Old Testament prophets, the uh, Old Testament uh, men and women of God uh, believed only in, a, in one God. They didn't believe in a, a plethora of gods. They believed in one God. Amen. And the New Testament church believed the exact same way. Amen. They believed in only one God. Amen. They seen him, though, in the face of of Jesus Christ. Somebody say amen. amen. So the church was built upon a revelation. And that is a bedrock truth that you and I are standing on. Aren't you thankful for the yes. foundation of Jesus Christ? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Matthew, if you want to turn in your Bibles, amen, to Matthew chapter number 16. Verse, we begin, I begin reading at verse number 13. If you want to turn in your Bibles, praise God. Hallelujah. Might like I'm sitting across the table uh, from somebody in their home, the Bible study. This is good. Uh, Matthew chapter 16, beginning at verse number 13. Amen. Yeah. When you get there, say, I got it. I got it. If you're still uh, moving through, say, hold on. All right. Matthew 16. Amen. School, school, school is in session. And, and in the text. And Jesus is now getting ready to... Uh, Asked him questions here. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, yeah. and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. And he said unto them, But who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Praise yeah. God. 
Amen. So today we are so thankful, amen, that this church is built upon the rock. Amen. Yes. amen. The rock or the revelation of the mighty God in Christ Jesus. Anybody thankful for that today? Amen. Amen. And so because of that, just because of that alone, the Bible says that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Praise God. You and I are a part of an unstoppable church. Yeah. Praise God. We are connected to a church, amen, that is built upon a foundation to which hell's gates yeah. cannot withstand. Praise God. Amen. It's not in my notes, but how many of us know that gates cannot attack? Right. Amen. Gates are made to protect or to keep people out. Right. And the Lord said, as this church is marches on, yeah. this church, this one God, amen, tongue-talking, holy, living, amen, believe, Bible-believing church, as this church oh, marches yes. on, the gates that hell has tried to establish to keep people locked in cannot expand. Yes. Thank you, Lord. It, it, it cannot withstand, amen, the church. Amen. So the theology of Jesus is not a complex one. As God clearly explains to us who he is. All right? John chapter number 14. John chapter number 14. Amen. It, it's, it's, it's not complex. Jesus is, is, is uh, clear, amen, as it states to us, praise God, who he is. John chapter 14, and uh, we'll begin reading verse number 1. John 14, praise God. Begin reading in verse 1. Amen. I still see fingers tapping. John 14. Let not your heart be troubled. Yeah. You believe in God? Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Amen. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And if you have known me, you should have known my father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. And Philip said unto the Lord, show us the father and it, it sufficeth us. And Jesus said unto him, have I been so long time with you? And ye, yet hast thou not known me, Philip? And remember the question. He said, I want to see the Father. Satisfy my desire to see the Father. And Jesus responded and said, I've been standing here with you all this time, and you haven't known me. Praise God. He who has seen me, amen, has seen the Father. And this is something that the early church, is this all right this morning? Oh, yeah. Man, this is doctrinal. This is who we are. Man, um, uh, the disciples, the early church understood this. The disciples had to come to this revelation that Jesus was more than just a man. Praise God. He wasn't just a man, but he was also God. Jesus had a dual nature. Yeah. Amen. He was all man and at the same time, he was all God. Yeah. Praise God. Jesus, no doubt, showed them, though, amen, his humanity. The fact that he was born of, a, of another human being, amen, is an expression of the fact that he was human. Yeah. Praise God. I know that's practical, but 
Amen. Now in the morning as he returned into the city, amen, the Bible said that in Matthew 21 and 18 that he hungered. This is demonstrating to us, amen, his humanity because he got hungry. Amen. He got thirsty. The Bible tells us in John 19 and 28, amen, that Jesus thirsted. Praise God. Oh, yeah. He, ex he, he, he experienced temptation. Yeah. Jesus did. Yeah. Thank God. Amen. That, that, that the humanity part of Jesus experienced temptation. Amen. And overcame it. Yeah. Yes. Letting us to know that even when we experience temptation, come on. Oh, yes. You and I can overcome it. Oh, Praise yeah. God. Praise the Lord. Amen. He slept. Amen. The Bible also said that he suffered. He yeah. experienced pain. Anybody ever felt pain in that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. That's right. Amen. And he died. Praise the Lord. These were clear facts or the reality that in the theology of Jesus, you have to come to the conclusion that he is 100% man. All yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Praise God. But that was not all he was. Yeah. I hope this is all right. That's not all right. right. All right. That's not all he was. Amen. The disciples were coming to this revelation as they clearly saw him do things that only God can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Man. And, and in fact, when they were, I don't know if I'm, I, I may have it in here somewhere. When when they were in the boat and and the storm was going crazy and they couldn't get the water. Out of the boat, Jesus was asleep, and he woke up, and he spoke to the storm. Yeah. And they said, hold on, what kind of man is this yeah. where the winds and the waves obey him? Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you what kind of man he is. He's the God man. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're going to believe in him, you must believe in the reality of who he is. I right. know this is practical. Amen. But I love, I love this because this is foundational to who we are. Yeah. Amen. This is foundational to who we are. Amen. As oneness believers. Oh, Praise yeah. God. Listen to John. John said, I said, therefore, unto you that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. This is John chapter 8. Amen. If you want to write that down and turn to it. This is John chapter 8. Amen. And be in verse 24. He said that if you don't believe yeah. that I am he. Amen. And actually, the word he is an italicized uh, word telling us that the translators inserted that in there to try to give us, so to speak, a better understanding, amen, of that particular text. Yeah. Uh, my, my, my personal feeling, you can throw this one out, but my personal feeling about the italicized words is if it doesn't take away the true meaning of the text, then it's all right to keep it there. Right. But if it takes away the true meaning of the text, and we need to do some more studying and some more digging to try to understand what God is trying to say to us here. Amen. Have an amen. Amen. I want to know the word of the Lord. And I want to know it as the Lord has, has, has placed it in my hand and my care. Because the, one of the most important things is having a revelation of who he is. And that does change us. That helps us. Praise God. Amen. And so, uh, 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 even if you added that word here in this text, he, you will not take away the true meaning. Jesus is saying, unless Moses, amen, was connected to the same terminology. When Moses is getting ready to deliver the people, amen, from Egypt, amen, the Lord Moses said, who do I say sent me? And the Lord said... I am that I am. Tell them that I am sent you. 
Amen. And Jesus said the exact same terminology. Yeah. Unless you believe that I am, you will die in your sins. Right. Amen. This was difficult because they understood the terminology that came, amen, from Moses, amen, when he wrote the Pentateuch or the Old Testament text, the Exodus, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, amen, Numbers. They understood that. This is why it became very difficult for them to try to receive because Jesus was telling them, that the one that you heard about in the Old Testament is standing in front of you. Yeah. My, my, my. Thank the Lord. I wish I had. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. This is why hell, yeah. amen, is fighting this today. Yep. Praise God. Because he doesn't want us to come into the revelation. Amen. Jesus is not somebody's junior out there. Right. Jesus is not some secondary individual out there. Right. Amen. Jesus is the very one that the part that split the waters, amen, in Egypt to get people to safety on the other side. He's the same one. Amen. Come on now. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. That open blinded eyes in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It's yeah. the same God. Yeah. It's not yeah. another God. Amen. Uh, Isaiah, amen, tells us over and over, amen, that, that there is none else. There is none. I, I, I know I got a lesson here, amen, but I felt like this was so important to bring out because, amen, how many know that we serve one God and his name is Jesus? Yes. I ain't got to worry about who to pray to. I'm not confused up here as to who I'm talking to. Amen. I'm thankful that I know that when I say Jesus, I say Jehovah Jireh. When I say Jesus, I say Jehovah Tiskanu. When I say Jesus, I say Jehovah Rapha. When I say God. When I say Jesus, I say I am that I am. When I say Jesus, I say the lily of the valley. I say the bright and morning star. I Come on, somebody. I say the almighty. Come I on, say man. the wonderful, the counselor, the mighty God. Amen. All I've got to do is use that name. And I get, I get Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because it's all... In him. him, I'm trying to get there. I'm trying. Uh, you, you, you must believe the Bible says that He is. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you will die in your sin. This is why I say that this is foundational, and there are other things that are built upon this. Yeah. Because without this, Amen. There are so-called believers out there who's got a shaky foundation. Oh yeah. And they're okay with just going to church and not knowing, or a church, and not knowing who he really is. Right. Ooh, Praise God. So Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. This is what I mean. Yeah. Believing in Jesus as a part of God is different than believing that Jesus is God. Right. Right. Okay. Paul said, let me show you a mystery. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. It's good. It's all right. Come on. Verse Timothy 3 and verse number 16. He said, I'm going to show you a mystery. Without controversy, great is the mystery of God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God was manifested in the flesh. No, junior God. Mm -mm. No. Secondary God. No. No. It said, God yeah. was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, oh, yeah. seen of angels, oh, yeah. preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, and received up into glory. I, I can take you to each one of these particular things within the text and show you where Jesus was received up into glory in Acts chapter number one. Praise God. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. We're not talking about somebody else. We're talking about Jesus, the Savior of the world. Come on now. Would you give God a praise? Yes. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you for the word. God was manifested in flesh. Yes. And that, that's, that's our focus today. The word became flesh. John 1 and, and, and 1. John 1 and 14. Amen. The word became flesh. Yeah. Amen. There, there are people that have damnable doctrine that tells that try to tell you that Jesus physically, physically, was already in heaven. That's not true. He wasn't physically there as human. He wasn't physically there. He was there in thought, mm -hmm. in plan. Idea. That's right. Idea. Because, uh, amen. There's not another person. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to get there. In fact, there is no terminology for persons in the Godhead. Right. Oh, okay. Right. There's no terminology for persons in the Godhead. Colossians, you still got your Bible? Colossians chapter number two. I, 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 you're going to have to go read that lesson because I'm, I've been hanging out on the oneness here. Colossians chapter number two. Amen. Uh, uh, beginning at verse number six. And it, and it starts, as ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord. So walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established, established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein uh, with thanksgiving. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy mm -hmm. and vain deceit. Right. Be careful who you're listening to. Mm. And today, um, YouTube have all kind of people on there. That's very true. Oh, yeah. and, 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 and it's easy nowadays, amen, to go on there and listen to all kind of junk. Mm -hmm. right. Praise God. Yeah. yeah. Especially people that call themselves uh, preachers. Yeah. Uh, hustling people. Yeah. Uh, be, be careful who you're listening to. Oh, yes. Amen. Beware, Paul said. Yeah. Beware lest they spoil you. Amen. Through philosophy and vain deceit, after the traditions of men, men. Uh, I, I, I didn't want to try to focus on it because it's not in the Bible. Ain't no sense of fussing with something that ain't in the Bible. Come on now, come on. Uh, but Trinitarian doctrine is a is is the tradition of men. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. It was formulated uh, around. I believe it was 300 uh, I.D. A.D. Uh, the Council of Nicaea, and uh, all the oneness folks, they was trying to uh, uh, eliminate and, and eradicate all of their writings uh, from history. So you can't really go and find some of them, Amen. But you can see where they begin to try to establish a, 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 a doctrine that did not come from the text. Right. Uh, uh, all, all of a sudden, outside of the, the New Testament believers and the Old Testament believers, all of a sudden you have folks that believe in a multiplicity of gods. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Uh, verse 9 says, for in him dwells the fullness of the Godhead yeah. bodily. And, and, and we are complete in him. It didn't say in them. You got people that will preach and teach to you, amen, that, that it's God the Father, number one, God the Son, number two, and God the Spirit. Number, the, the, there's a problem here. Number one is you're separating the Spirit from the Spirit. Yeah. That's right. It makes sense. How are you going to separate the Spirit from the Spirit? Praise God. Amen. But, but, but human philosophy will mess you all up. Mm -hmm. right. That's right. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, yes. hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Come on. Somebody shout it out. There's only one God. One God. 
And he is the father. He is the son. And he, come on somebody. Amen. He, he, he showed up in multiple ways. Praise God. You, you, you know the idea of water. Uh, water has multiple forms. Right? If you freeze, it becomes what? Ice. 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 If it kind of just uh, floats into the air, so to speak, it becomes a mist. Steam. Still water. It just changes its function, but it's still water. Isn't that right? Oh, come on. So it's not another. It's not anybody different. It's still water. It's, I wish I had help here today. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hebrews 1. Amen. Yeah. I'm finally getting to the text. Finally getting there. Hebrews 1. Uh, uh, again, if you got your Bibles and you want to read along, Hebrews 1. 1. And, and I'm, I'm getting close to, to wrapping it up. But Hebrews 1. Beginning at verse 1. It says, God, who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who be in the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had uh, by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels. Yeah. Amen. As he has uh, by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. The word, the word person here is the only time it is used in reference uh, to the Son of God or uh, to God. Yeah. But it does not, it does not denote the idea, if you study this, it does not denote the idea that the Father is a person. The spirit is a person, yeah. and the son is a person. The son is a person, but the father is spirit, yeah. and it doesn't have flesh and bones, right. so it cannot be called a person, nor can spirit be called a person, right? right? But the Greek word used here for person is hopostasis. I'm not Greek. Okay? So it's, it, it, it says to show us that the image of God is not made up. Mm -hmm. It's real. Yeah. We have substantial evidence and substance. Jesus was the expressed image, yeah. the person of God. Yeah. Amen. The, the expressed image, that word there, the expressed image is one word. In Greek, expressed image, one word in Greek, and and it's charic, 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 uh, ter, k h a r a k t a r e, which we get our word yeah. character. Yeah, praise God. So who and what God is was displayed in the character Very and good. the nature. Of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. And, and again, this is why the religious wanted to stone him. Because they they look at a man. Amen. And, and, and not only uh, uh, is he healing them uh, of people. But he is declaring to people. Your sins are forgiven. Yeah. Well, who can forgive sins? My goodness. He's Jesus is only operating out of his character. Uh -huh. Jesus is only operating out of his nature. Yeah. This is who he is. Praise yeah. God. I don't have it in my notes. Amen. But but the scripture in Revelation says he's Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the ending. Come on. The one that was, the one that is, and the one that is to come. Come on. We're talking about the same one. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. Somebody bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I, 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 I 
love it. This, that's his character. A, 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 a little bit more of the definition you can go to is a graver. The tool of the person being engraved into something. Yeah. Amen. The figure stamped, i.e. an exact copy or figuratively representation. He is the expressed image. He right. got a porter. Savior. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
but he did not send somebody else to do it. Amen. Now, I've said it before. My house is on fire. All the kids run out. And I get a check. CJ, here. Monty, here. Jay, here. Then Lay not here. He's called on the way. Lay, here. But my wife's still in there. And I look at one of the kids and I say, hey man, can you do me a favor? <laughs> Go in there and get your mom. <laughs> they gonna look at me like, what? They, they probably try to do it anyway. But, but what would you think about it? God didn't send nobody else to go save his wife. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord did it himself. He said, I got a bride down there. And I'm going to go down there and I'm going to make sure that I take care of my bride. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm telling you that we're built upon a foundation that hell cannot stop. Praise God. Amen. The Lord has blessed us. It has kept us. This is why, amen, this revelation is a strong foundation yeah. for you and I. Anything other than this, then you are on shaky ground. Oh, Praise yeah. God. Amen. amen. And the Bible says we beheld his glory. How many of you seen the glory of God? Yeah. How many of you seen God show up and work a miracle for you? How many of you seen God show up and do things for you to help you? How many of you seen the, the powerful hand of God? Amen. The, 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 I'm going to quit. The people, amen, that, 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 that does a lot of research and, 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 and try to focus on some of the, amen. When I use some of the commentaries, I, I, I don't get into uh, their, try to get into their minds. I only look for the facts. Right. Praise God. Because I understand that we can try to look at, through the lens of a Trinitarian scope. And that's not the will of God. How many of you know that you are a oneness believer? We ought to be looking at the word of God through the lens of the oneness mindset. Praise God. Amen. And, uh, but they think that John somehow, John the, uh, the, the, the revelator, amen, somehow was looking back and, and at the fact that he seen Jesus, amen, on the Mount of Transfiguration when he said we beheld his glory. Praise God. And when he was on the Isle of Patmos, and yeah. the Bible says John was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Amen. He's seen his glory. Praise God. Amen. We've seen the glory of God. We've seen him. I, I don't know about you, but I, I can remember days, amen, traveling, evangelizing, and watching God fill many people with the Holy Ghost. Amen. But, but nothing moved me more than to see children lifting their hands and receiving the Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues for the very first time. Amen. They was receiving his glory. Amen. And, and uh, we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten. Anybody thankful for grace? Yes. Amen. 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 Anybody thankful for truth? Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Grace gave you an opportunity out and the truth has set you free. Amen. 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 I'm going to quit. Get out of the way. Amen. But because we know him, we ought to share him. Amen. Because we can be the embodiment of Jesus. He was the word made flesh. And we are flesh trying to become word. Yes. Praise God. Let's allow God to help us. God bless you. Praise God. Y'all ever heard the chorus 111? One way to God. Yes. Baptized in Jesus' name. Now, now, notice this. God used one nation to reveal himself to mankind. That's why you see throughout the scripture explaining to the Jews 
Yeah. Yes, yes. But he used one nation. So when you think in terms of how God used one nation, how did Buddha go in? God didn't use Buddha yeah. to reveal himself. And when you look at the scripture, in all the different religions in the world, the greatest religion that's in the world is Christianity. Yes, sir. Because God used one nation to reveal himself to man throughout the Old Testament, through Psalms. Through revelation, God is revealing himself to us. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Who he is is important. Yes. Praise God. And it's so sad to see all these different other religions. Matter of fact, we're the only religion that our Savior rose from the dead. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. Praise God. And so, there's only one God. One faith. One baptism. And one Father of us all. And His name is Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.